Hi, this is Joe again with another review. For the sake of this video, we're going to be discussing the 1982 film, 48 Hours, starring Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy. Of course, this movie was the, was the film that launched Eddie Murphy into a bona fide movie star. Even though he got real international acclaim from Beverly Hills Cop, which was like you know, two years later, and also uh, for Train Places, which was the second film. But 48 Hours was actually Eddie Murphy's first film. And let me tell you folks, Eddie Murphy did not even get to a building because it was his first film. And it's silly to put uh, Eddie Murphy, give him top building for his first movie role. Because before that, of course, he was famous for being on Saturday, Saturday Night Live. It was so popular on Saturday Night Live. It was so good and so funny that they decided to place him in movies and 48 Hours was his first movie role. But the movie, or well, the main star of the movie was actually Nick Nolte. And he was actually the straight man to any movie's character, which I'm going to explain, get into in a minute. Because this movie, the plot of this movie is Nick Nolte is a San Francisco police officer who get who recruits Eddie Murphy who is in jail. His character is in jail. His name is Reggie. He he's in jail, and Nick Nolte gets like a twin, a forty-eight hour pass for uh, Reggie uh, because to help him solve a crime or or to help capture an escaped convict which had a connection to A. Murphy's character. So I figured that A. Murphy would help, it was Nick Nolte's best lead in tracking uh, the, this convict down, or, or this, I, should, I should say escape convict down, and his American Indian friend helped him bust him out of a chain gang and kill two guards in the process. So, so that's why the movie's called 48 Hours, because he had 48 hours before Nick Nolte is sent bring any of his character back to jail. So so they're trying to solve this so trying to capture this uh, this convict. And of course the most of this movie, kinda like similar to what Beverly Hills Cop would be like two years later. And that is uh, the chemistry between Nick Nolte and Annie Murphy's characters in, in, in this film. And of course uh, where I have to warn people, for those of you who never saw the original forty eight hours film there was a, a few, well not every single line, but, but there was a few times when Nick Nolte uses the N-word or you know, disparage any Murphy in this film. Of course, there was in the script at the time, you're talking about 1982, you're talking about a different time, a different era, compared to you know, almost 30 years, almost 40 years later until the movie came out, or 39 years later. You are never going to get away with a script where where, one, where the white character calls, uh, you know, the black character, the N word. I mean, you're not you're not you're not going to get, especially with the whole genre today with you know, the Black Lives Matter stuff. You're not going to get you're not going to get away with that stuff today. There's no, it, there's it's a miracle you even got away with it back then, in 1982. It was a miracle back then that Nick Nolte's character was able to get away with it. But like I just said, it's a different time and a different era. This was pre this was even was pre Rodney King. I mean, that, that's a, that's how long ago this was. This movie was uh, when it came out. So, so if those of you who never saw the original Forty Eight Hours movie, you know, if it, I feel they should put that warning out there. For those of you who never saw it. Uh, so, so you had the you know this interplay between these two characters. Uh, to the point when they two of them actually have an actual physical fist fight, uh, you know, you know, it was filmed, you know, you know, for, for the movie, a, a, an actual fist fight was planned between the two of them, and then the two of them just beat the crap out of each other through the whole film. And of course, there's like plenty of, of you know, decent action in this film, uh, kind of similar to what Beverly Hills Cop would be two years later, with a lot of action. A lot of crazy interplay between the two characters, and a lot of scenes where they're going to boars, bust up a boar, or get into a boar fight. Kind of, <laughs> that's why I'm making the comparison to Billy Hills Cop because it's like very, very similar. Even though in Billy Hills Cop you had three guys and not two guys, like you had in this film. Uh, but, you know, you know, long story short, I thought it was, I thought the, the first 
funny how it typically was caught. The first 48 hours movie I thought it was uh, decent. I, I recently rewatched this movie just you know to prepare for this review, and, and I thought it was uh, decent a decent movie. Uh, and so, as also 48 hours it was, it was also one of the first buddy movies. And you know, technically it uh, I was what is a uh, buddy cop film. But the problem is that Eddie Murphy's character was never a cop. He was a convict. So there's only one cop in, in, in this in this uh, premise, you know, you know, for this movie. But the story, like the, the, the you know the the buddy, uh, I guess you can say a buddy cop movie. Uh, what the hell? It's, it's a buddy cop movie, even though Eddie Murphy's character was not a a, uh, a cop. But the story that way that there's it was one of those first movies of that kind of genre where two completely opposite people get together to solve a particular crime or to bring down a suspect. And major spoiler, they do track down the uh, the convict at the end of this movie and of course Nick Nolte shoots the guy and kills him at the end of this film. Uh, major spoiler. Of course the, what, the running thing is the boys, uh, they had the, the song, the boys are back in town throughout this first movie and of course, they remanded it for, for the sec second film, but but I'm sticking with the first one right now. And the, the, the movie was a pretty big was a pretty big hit, and to to the point that, it, like like I said at the top of the review, it literally launched Eddie Murphy's career as a big time movie star because it, because if people weren't sure if Eddie Murphy coming from a sketch comedy show Saturday Night Live would be successful because he didn't. Uh, they're already starting to have actors all from Saturday Night Live already established in movies because you had John Belu you had John Belushi, you had Steve Moore, you had Dan Aykroyd, uh Chevy Chase. They were all on Saturday Night Live, at least the original cast or the from the seventies to like the early eighties when when Friday Night Hours came out and though it has pretty successful for the most part movie careers and now you have Eddie Murphy with his you know starting off with, with a very successful hit, and of course the two other hits movies they did after you know, Train Places and the first Burning House Cop movie became monster hits, and and of course, you know, uh, unfortunately any of his career didn't pan out uh, as the beginning of his career did with these with these three monster monster hits, uh, but you know he started off on a great note, a stereotypical A's action movie that that was. 48 hours, and, and it's also one of the first 80s action movies that there was a like, uh, very little plot. I mean, the plot, plot was you know simple enough, but but it has more action than the plot. And and uh, I mean, I mean, it was it had enough of a plot to sustain your attention, and at least, at least I felt that way as watching this movie, but. As the movie went on, it was more and more mindless action, 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 and Eddie Murphy cursing like a drunken sailor throughout the whole movie. And his big concern was he used the P word a lot, referring to a lady's body part um, a lot in this movie as well. Not only in this movie, but also in the sequel as well, which I want to get to in my next review. So, but. You know, for 48 hours, especially if you had to be an A. Murphy fan, like to watch, you know, thinking that A. Murphy has a lot of, did, did a lot of lousy movies, check out the, the three movies I've mentioned a few times already in this review, and you see how good A. Murphy actually was. So that is my review of the, of the movie 48 Hours. Please click on the video, please rate it. Please subscribe to my channel. And please forward, the, forward this video, excuse me, and please forward this video onto your Facebook pages. You can check out all my reviews and on my YouTube channel at rallyc.com. It's on WDY. C.com. It's on page. You can run a review with Chris Lee Moore. And please check out all, all of his videos on his website. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.